Hey guys, this is Dave, Classic Gamers HQ. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're playing a nice little Steam game. It's a full motion video game, which I personally love. Big fan of the 90s uh, explosion of full motion video game systems. This is uh, Late Shift. And we're going to go ahead and get started with a new game here. This is a blind playthrough. Don't know what it's all about. You check the settings here. Subtitles on. English. Brightness. Turn it up a little bit. Okay. Looks like we're good. Understand that this uh, this game has multiple endings, so choices are going to matter here. Help him. Still made my train. Late shift, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on just a second. If you've noticed, I probably need to play with the settings a little bit more. If you notice that the music seems to be a lot louder than the dialogue, so music volume resolution. I'll turn down the music volume maybe to like eighty percent. Okay. I'll adjust it as I go, as I need to, because the dialogue's going to be important, obviously, even though we have subtitles. I don't like the music to drown out the uh, important stuff. Right. There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. Take it down to 70. Damn, the dialogue is very low. Hmm. Oh well. meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life with a bunch of metal bimbos yeah look at you my beauty nice you could keep me in college for over a decade
except for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> Damn. Okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in Maserati. <sighs> that was rash. What was the bet for? A grand. A grand? Woohoo! <sighs> a hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys. Two hundred. Okay. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Oh, fuck. It's about to be a shit storm, I feel. <laughs> Damn. Fast cars tonight, all right? In the car. I thought I said keep it. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do.
shit. Get back here. Keep going. Keep going, my boy. Keep going. My little steam achievement. Oh. Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. No. I don't trust him. No, I'm alright, mate. That's my train. Not anymore. Damn it. Shit. Get in the car, sunshine. Like it. There's no getting away. In the fucking car. It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the car, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be alright. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and then everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Dan Evie doesn't pick up, try and get hold of that, you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Steal away, what the hell then? Oh. You stay where you are. Well, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. I'm not good at maths, are you, mate? It's not supposed to be. Minus one, plus one. That means zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. <sighs> I see your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Don't push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off! Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this! It's done!
Yes, sir. The judge. We'll find you something. doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to tell them to get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. Because okay. we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is an employment. Yeah. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What in your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. fooling themselves now. The crime's still a crime. Hmm. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... Just try to keep it perpetrating. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three That's simply beautiful pieces. Remaining yes. examples okay, great. I'm of a red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but we can't afford it. What did we say about that? No. And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two oh. million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? What the fuck are you doing? Five and 20% of the Thank sale price, don't we? Phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Thank Please you. Stop bidding. 
Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight, I'm looking. Eight with you, sir, to your bed. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Lots are not good. Nine, I'm looking. Price increases on a logarithmic. All around the room. Zero. Nine million to you, sir. Thank you. Yes, the chance is getting away with another nine business. Nine million. Well, so do I hear nine? Five. Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine million once. Nine million she twice. She'll do it anyway. So, to the oh. on my right, a nine million times. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. 23%. your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you started my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Prevent. Okay, what are my options? I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Damn. Up. Had to make a quick decision on that one. That reception. I need security down at the basement. Hey Jeff, put it down. Now. Okay, hold on just a second. The music is still a little freaking loud.
hope I'm making the right choices. Damn. Some of them are so quick I can't even think about what the consequences might be. Is that on my fucking mind? I can trust you. That was rough and unexpected. Mate, Mate Ling, Mate Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, this petrol, look, we've got to get out. Right? Fuck! Damn. He's a giant. Both of to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. Are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? Yes. If I bring the ball back, yeah. Then you're a fool. You just saved your life. You can't go to the police. And why is that? You were seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security guard and I'm bringing the ball back. You're an accessory, plain and simple. Watch me. Come on, Manning. Where's the one, yeah?
I'm under arrest. Not yet. You allege someone forced you to steal this? Yeah. They threatened to drug me. Threatened to drug you? Convenient. I'm telling you the truth. We'll be the judge of that, sir. Like you said. This uh, robbery occurred over two hours ago. Took you a while to locate your conscience, didn't it? It's been a complicated night. So it seems. Exploding vans, mysterious Chinamen. You know what I think? I think you're up to your balls in this. But you got scared. And now you're trying to lie your way out. I'm telling you the truth. Anyone to back you up? There was a girl. <laughs> Do you surprise me? Where's she at? She wouldn't come with me. Sounds like the brains of the operation. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Yeah, why don't you investigate this Mr. Wu? He's the guy that they stole the bowl for. He runs a restaurant in Shoreditch, that's all I know. <clears throat> Tony Wu is sitting in the room right next to us. And he's very convincingly denied any involvement in your little enterprise. In fact, when we told him what you stole, he nearly stopped breathing. Any thoughts? Do you know who the Choi family are? Because Tony Wu does. And he knows fine well not to fuck with them. I think you didn't realize that until after you stole the bowl. And now you're sitting here, shitting yourself, looking for a way out. Whatever. I want you to talk to somebody. Do you recognize this woman? The fuck is this? What do I have here? Answer her. It's the Chinese bowl we stole from the auction house tonight. No, it's not. Even though it fools the eye, I must admit. Which is why we rely on an effect called thermoluminescence. It's used to determine when the porcelain was fired. The bowl was created during the late Ming Dynasty, somewhere between 1368 and 1644. So it should be... Between 647 and 371 years old. I guess that's about right. But unlike the bowl I examined this evening, this thing here is less than five years old. So where is the original? Hey, where is it? Fuck. Yes. I dare say. Start talking. To a solicitor, no one else. Appreciate you coming down, Miss Tran. We'll keep you informed. Matthew Thompson. I am arresting you on suspicion of armed robbery. What the fuck? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something you let me rely on in court. Anything Damn. you do say may be given in evidence. Look, I really don't know where it is. Tell it to your solicitor. Copy that, 721. Please hold until further notice. Where are you taking me? CID at Knightsbridge. They want me to talk them through the robbery. If you want my advice, I'd help them do it. Start getting a few plus points on your record. Get a year or two off your sentence. Can't believe it's come to this. Where did I go wrong? Where did I make the wrong choice? It's gonna have to happen.
โอเคพบที่ตัวกายในสปาตายหลังที่ว่าสองที่เจอต้องตัวไอ้เรื่องยาลบเดี๋ยวผมโทษเองเป็นหมูยุบอ่ะตาบังไม่ใช่ก็ไม่ใช่ใช่ไหมปัจจัยไม่ก็ไม่เหมือนกันเลยนะช่วยมาหนุ่มกองนี่เหล่งอุสักมองกูคุณไหนงูตีกันถุงไอ้กอง With the five fingers set in the face Where's the bomb? I haven't got it. Lies. The police informed us. The rightful owners. About what we've done. Where are you hiding it? Oh look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Or... Disrespect will be punished. Now for the final time. Where is the law you took from the <coughs> auction? Not the copy you brought to the police. The original. The original bowl that you stole. Where? You've got the wrong guy. What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? Sure. What have you done to her? L L what the fuck is this? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Ball equals pain. The longer you have ball, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! Fucking hell! Look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The ball is ours. First to tell truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma, game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mailing tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. What? Choose punishment. Know your fate. Yeah. <laughs> the long one. Oh, it's a bang! God damn it. Good choice. Very honourable death. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Oh. Death comes slowly over a long, long time. Where is the bowl? The original bowl. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Fuck. Protect her. Damn it. Look, look. I'm genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. Th there is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. Y you're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Gong Daiwa. Where is the original? Do we repeat? Where? Fuck! She 
following your strategy. If I get this wrong, the mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> this can only continue. Glen will bow outside you here. Who will injure wouldn't they? The lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. <gasps> oh. It's decided. You bring us the ball. She stays hostage. If you fail, she dies. Lovely. This is gonna be fun. really doing this yeah you're really doing this now you gotta save the girl uh. all right just keep walking just keep moving I'm really sorry to hear that. 
Where did they take him? They took him to St. Thomas's, but they won't let me visit until the morning. St. Thomas's, thank you. I'm really sorry this happened. Don't worry, it's not your fault. I'm sorry though. All right, let's pay this poor guy a visit. to go to. Some bet for a grand. Why did you come back here doing an extra shift? Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't start. What brings you here? Um, uh, I'm here to see someone. Can you tell me what room Sebastian de Clark's in, please? Is he here? Uh, no, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. What's up? It's just a room that... What? Like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good night. Insist. Damn it. Look, <clears throat> this isn't about some entry ticket to some party, yeah? This is way bigger. What's so important that you need to see him now? <sighs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I won't believe you if you don't. Tonight, I was kidnapped by a gang of thieves who forced me to be part of a failed robbery, which has resulted in me being pursued by a gang of homicidal triads who want something that I don't have. And Mr. De Clark is the only bloody person who knows where it is. I can't wait till visiting hours. I will be dead by visiting hours. Please. Room 703, and if you get caught, I've never seen or heard of you. Thank you. Oh my god. That's how we got the ball at the auction house. committed a Hainsworth tonight. You shouldn't be here, nurse. No. No. Now you listen to me, mate. I'm a peaceful man. Okay, I do not want to hurt you. But if you try that shit again, I swear to God, the bits of you in the heart are gonna get a whole lot worse. Do you understand me? Do we have a deal? Yes. Good. Tell me about your deal with Samuel Park. I know you replaced the balls and rice ball with a forgery. That's a lie. Shit. Where's the rice ball? It's stolen. Look at me. I was beaten up. Where is it? Where did you put the original? I didn't put it anywhere. Oh, 
I know you switched it, Sebastian. Where is it? I didn't take it. This is a definite line. Do I really want to cross this? Jeez. Tell me where it is now. He was lying. Where? I swept it. In the elevator, I swept the original with the forgery, and I hid it. In the cabinet. Past cabinet, he bought an auction. There was a secret compartment in it. Yes. Is that where it is? Is the ball still inside? I don't know. This is the truth. The security took everything to the safe storage after the robbery, and they brought me here to the hospital. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth? Maybe. When will it be shipped to Paul? Small items such as this, mostly the next day. But Paul has friends on the board who probably managed to ship it out tonight. So you can have the ball already? Yes, possible. Where's that bloody ball? Feels like a 50-50 chance. Mm. How do I get him to tell me? Perhaps you can squeeze him? Very lightly. Where can I find him? Primrose Hill. <sighs> I was never here, right? Yes. And you never heard about the hidden compartment. Get all soon. Yeah, yeah. Come now. Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says oh, that he has Thank you, Willa. I'll take my tea in the study today. Are you intruded at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know the mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. And I know about your deal with Sebastian de Clark. Yeah, smuggling the original out of the auction house, hidden inside the wooden chest you bought. This is quite the little work of fiction, isn't it? <laughs> Do you hope to gain by this? We 
going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bomb? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. What do you think the Joys have to say about all of this? <laughs> the Joys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. <laughs> I'm not leaving here without that fucking bomb! I don't know where it is! destroy everything in here. Mr. Parr, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. I'm not fucking joking yet. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. But where's the line? How far will I go? You're making a mistake. Just go for it. What the hell with you? Oh. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking bomb! Stop in the name of God. Damn. It's here. The bone is here. Show it to me. It's in the safe. I collected the chest last night. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me, come on. 791901. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, so it's like that now, is it? Oh, shit. Give me the fucking ball. I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Fuck you. Ah, oh, damn. I didn't choose in enough time. He can't talk if he's dead. Really? Go inside. The ball. You have it. Where? Oh my god. You're dying. The girl can still live. Where is our ball? We must have it! Where? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> 
it would have went different for me. Had to let the old man live. <clears throat> that sucks. Save the girl.